So, uh, the challenge was to make an, a caster for a wheelbarrow that goes off-road. This particular part of the... Uh, this particular part of the um, caster was the main issue. It's a, a pivot that allows the caster to rotate through this vertical axis while the wheel is going along the road. So my solution was all about using what I had and buying as little as I have to. So, and then also not having to spend days turning stuff up on the lathe. So basically what we use is these thrust bearings. Now the thrust bearing comes in a set and the set is is a bottom plate that's that and then a cage of bearings and then a top plate okay so the force can go downwards and these can actually take up to a ton so the idea was to have two of these one at the one at the bottom and one at the top and this pipe here gets welded onto the frame so the bearings, these two bearings, here's the other one on the end of the bolt, have to be inserted into the pipe so that they, uh, the, the lower part of the bearing stays fixed to the internal pipe and the upper part of the bearing uh, rotates with the bolt when you tighten it. So normally you do that uh, by uh, boring up on the lathe and turning up a tube uh, so the axle could go down the middle of the hollow part of the tube and one part of the bearing would sit in here then the balls would sit around there and then you'd have the top part of the bearing there and then the bolt goes down through the center and the upside down of that would be at the bottom of the so bearing. what I came up with uh, is constructed using two water pipes one fits inside the other one is shorter than the other and that corresponds to this part of the pivot and one is longer and that corresponds to the outer part of the pivot. Only thing is there's about a millimetre gap on all around the internal water pipe. So to get around that what I ended up doing was drilling holes through the outer water pipe and then about a 10 millimeter hole and then welding all the way through to the inner water pipe and that in effect held the held the pipe in place. Now the issue was how to um, uh, keep the internal uh, pipe centrally located inside the external pipe while I did the welding uh, so, uh, so that the uh, uh, all of the bearings were uh, uh, held as central as possible and the solution I came up with, I turned up on my wood lathe, uh, which are these two stepped cones. One goes in the top and one goes in the bottom. Uh, the uh, outer diameter is, uh, fits into, the, uh, into the, the, the larger pipe and um, the inner, the smaller diameter fits inside uh, the smaller pipe. Uh, and holds the uh, holds the, the two pipes in place uh, while I did the welding operation. So the next thing I needed was a, a cap to go over the top to keep the water out because this thing goes outside and I ended up using just a plumbing fitting which I bored out with a 20 millimeter hole to take the pivot. So the pipe structure looks like this it's about 150 mil high it's got six holes you can see where I've welded it uh, and those holes are at uh, like 120 degrees around around the compass so this is the pivot which is just a 20 M20 bolt. You can see the bottom bearing already on there. This sits over the top like that and goes down over the bottom bearing. The top bearing comes on and sits on the top here. As you can tell one of them is a little bit sticky. When you buy the bearing sets there's 
there's about a half a millimetre diameter difference between one of these races and the other. So the outer race is always the one with the smaller hole. And then the weatherproof cap goes over the top. And then your nut goes on the top. And Bob is your uncle. There it is. The pivot. All we gotta do now is weld it all we gotta do now is weld it on.